Hi my dear friends, this is Phil again. Very welcome back to my channel. So in this episode I'm going to show you how exactly vampire weapons works in the game. Uh, it's not actually vampire weapon but vampire effect because it's actually linked to a lot of things, not just the weapons. So now here I'm using the vampire 10mm pistol. And here's my loadout. I'm just trying to remove the bone survivors. Now let the Murloc hit me. Come on, hit me harder. Okay, now I lost some health. I got 63 pound of HP left. Let's see how much one shot can heal me. What? 63? Something is wrong. Come on, let's do it again. You know, consistency is never going to be a reality in this game. Okay, 71. 63, 71, that's about 8 points of HP recovered per shot. I have 362 in total and 8 points over 362 means it means about 2% of my max HP. So basically, one shot can heal about 2% of my max HP. To be precise, in the coding, so you can regen 2% of your max HP in 2 seconds, 1% in the first second, second percent in the second second. And if there is a following shot before the second second, it's gonna cancel the first healing factor and restart the count. But actually in the game, with rapid fire weapons and with splitters, it doesn't really happen that way. So now let's try it with the lever rifle. Whether different weapon gonna give us different HP regen or not. So now I have 78 HP. Let me shoot this once. How much I got? 85. So 85 minus 78, that's 7 pound HP. And previous is 8. But if we do the calculation, 7 over 362, that's about roughly 2% again. So in terms of percentage, it, it's consistent. The variation between these two shots I think it's probably because the auto regen. Now let's try the vampire fire thrower. One hit. How much is it again? 92. 92 minus 85, that's 7 pound HP again. So this one actually uh, consistent with the lever rifle. Let's try it again. So now I have 74 HP. Let's shoot them once again. Okay, I should have 81. Let's try. Yeah, exactly. 81. That's 7 point of HP, which is about 2% of my max HP. Try it again. Is it 7 points? It is. So every single shot of different weapons. I, I did try all sorts of weapons with different accounts. And apparently each shot is going to give me 2% of my max HP. Bear that in mind. So each hit of the ranged weapon gonna radian 2% of the max HP. Now let's see for a melee build do we have similar situation. The first thing I want to test instead of a punch, I want to test whether Plague Walker the mutation can actually stack with the vampire weapons effect or not. Because we know the ricochet perk have a synergy with the vampire weapons. It can produce additional health regen in addition to the weapon hit. Plague Walker do poison damage to anybody who's around you. I'm just wondering whether that damage can be synergized with the vampire weapon perk. So now I'm doing pointless damage to these murlocs around me. Hit me. You see they are actually losing health when they're hitting me. Uh, but my health is decreasing. There's no sign of health regen at all. So Unfortunately, Plague Walker does not stack with the Vampire Weapon perks, with the Vampire Weapon effect. And I'm gonna test something crazy. I got this Vampire Pump Shotgun. Ideally, it's gonna heal me with a significant rate because one shot of a shotgun means eight pallets. If all of these eight pallets hit the same target or hit the target, they're gonna heal you significantly. 
look at my health. Immediately it reaches the max they can get. Yeah, and that's about 30, about 30 HP I just gained. But that's not the real figure because my radiation is too high. I need to get rid of some radiation to give the space for the health regen. So ideally I should have 8 times 2, the 16% of max health regen per hit. Let them hit me. Let them hit me. I need to lose some health again so I can test the shotgun properly. So again, as I just mentioned, we need to have 16% of health regen per shot. Now I have 51, so 16% of 362 is about 65, so I should gain 65 points HP per shot using the Vampire Shotgun. Now let's see how much I gained. 109. Previously I'm 51. So the health gain is about 58 instead of 65. The 7 points in difference, which means I might miss one pallet. So out of 8 pallets, I only got 7 pallets to hit the target, which gave me 58 points instead of 65. And then I have another baby, this one is a monster. Uh, this one is a vampire combat shotgun with explosive effects as well. So in this game, the explosive effect counted at the second hit, besides the direct projector hit. That means if you shoot one mob with legendary gun with explosive effect, one single hit actually means two different hits. And the damage calculation is separated as well. And the vampire effect will be triggered twice on each hit. That means with this vampire explosive shotgun, every single shot with 8 pallets plus 8 explosive hits. I got 16 hits per shot. If that times 2, I have I should have 36% health regen. 36%. That's more than one third of my max health regen per shot using this gun. That sounds crazy. But does it really work? Let's try it out. I don't know whether that's going to be enough space for the regen. Now I have 84 Point HP left. I shoot you once. Okay, okay, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Let me jump, jump high. Now I can check how much health I received. 176. I used to have 84 points health left. So 176 minus. 84, that means 92, that gives us 92 HP over 362, that's 25%, so it's only 25%, it's not 36%, which I think is because my radiation level is not low enough, which stops the health region. So I need to lower my radiation level even lower. Okay. Hopefully I have enough space for the region. Now just hit me. Hit me. More. One more. Okay, I think that's enough. That's enough. If you'll kill me out by the way. I think this time I have enough space for the health, the full health region. How much health I have now? 68. Okay. Okay, apparently shooting a dead body doesn't give me health. Okay, wow, that's a huge health healing. Let me just run to a safe place. Ah, stop radiating me. Okay, just get rid of the radiation. Okay, now 
now it's safe. The Yahweh won't be able to hear me anymore. Let's check how many health we got. 242. We used to have 68 health left. So 242 minus 68 gives us 174 points. Over 362. Wow, that's 48 health region. That's much higher than 36 as we expected. Something just happened. Oh, I see. I think it's because the explosion hit on the Yogwai actually hit the stack with whom the Yogwai is fighting. So the explosive doesn't only happen on the Yogwai, some of them also happened on the stack, which gives extra health regen. But 48 health regen is extraordinary. I mean, half of the health has been regen in single shots. This vampire explosive shotgun is really a monster. You shouldn't worry any more about your health. As long as you keep on shooting, two shots gonna get your full health back. Who gonna be able to kill you in this kind of situation? Well, another factor is the condition of the weapon. If you're hitting more, the condition of the weapon decreases even faster. Uh, so explosive weapon make the condition of the weapon decrease twice as fast. And if your explosive effect damages more than one mode, then the condition degradation will be even more significant. And you can see the condition of this guy is almost completed. Okay, I think when I got this guy, it's about a little bit less than half of full condition. I shot it like one, two, three, four, four, four times or maximum five times. Half of the condition is gone. So with the full health, you can shot about 10 times. If you repair it to 200% of the condition, you can shot 20 times. So every 20 shots, you're going to need to repair this gun. So it's kind of a trade-off between health regen and gun repairing. And last thing I want to show you is if you are melee built, equip a vampire melee weapon and it will make you much more tougher even with a bloody build. Because every hit you're going to get 2% of your max HP. If you have this unstable isotope mutation which is going to cause AOE damage around you when mobs melee attack you. That actually have a synergy with the vampire weapon and if you have the recourse the Ricochet perk with you, that's going to work with the Vampire Weapon as well. And if you use the Hack and Slash Legendary perk, that AoE damage will also stack with the Vampire effect of your weapon. So if the AoE effect damages three Come mobs in. around you, you're going to get 6% health regen. And plus I'm the one hit on the Vats target, which gives you another 2%, the that means 8% health that's regen per hit. Well, if you are lucky enough to keep on have this hack and slash AOE damage triggered, you can imagine how invincible you're gonna be. And my experience on the melee weapon's condition degradation is much slower than its ranged counterpart. So if you are melee built, equip your vampire weapon, get your hack and slash legendary perk, as well as unstable isotope mutation. You can also get this electrically charged mutation line, which also gives you a possibility to generate AOE attack around you when you are attacked. Plus the ricochet synergy with the vampire weapon, you become literally invisible, Perfect. even and as the blooded build. The and if you use power armor, you can actually link that with your Tesla recall mode to make yourself even tougher. Keep on regen health in any combat. Okay, so that's all for today's 
video. I hope my explanation on how the vampire effect works in the game can give you up hands in the future combat in the wasteland. And if you find it useful, please give me a thumb up. And it's going to be really appreciated if you can join my channel as well. So click the subscription and get notification whenever I have new video uploaded. I was trying to upload two videos per week and your support will be the key factor for my consistent performance. So that's all for today. Until next time, Bill Leggins out.